I guess we are discussing about how to install XMPP into a system. But before going to that, what is XMPP actually? XMPP contains software packages like MySQL, PHP, Apache that can make your system into a server. Right? Why XMPP is required actually? So if you are working on a project that is involving server activity, like let's say you are working on Raspberry Pi or Arduino, that uh, for uh, like simplicity you want to fetch some temperature data and log into it as server log those data into server. And you will not be interested directly working on a server, buying some domain, buying some hosting plans and all. So instead of that, what you can do, you can just take your computer and uh, install XMPP into it uh, and you can configure it like a server. And you can simply send your data from any microcontroller devices to your system as like you are sending data to uh, cloud server. It's that simple. But uh, why XMPP actually? If you, uh, you can install servers and all. But uh, suppose you are having a laptop or something and you will not be interested to wipe out the OS and again installing server installations like uh, Ubuntu or server or Windows server or something. But instead of that, you can just install XMPP to your system and you can use your laptop or desktop, whichever you are using as a server on the board. So let's see how to do it. So let's start with downloading XMPP into our system. To download XMPP, simply visit apachefriends.org And over here, you can see the different flavors of XMPP available for different OS like for Windows, Linux and Mac OS X. And as this my system is Windows, I'll just need to download Windows. Otherwise, we can go with Linux or OS, whatever, depending upon your system. So let's click it. Okay, now it says your download will start automatically. So my download will start soon. Otherwise, you can hit over here, click here. So it uh, gives you a direct link. You can download it over. So let's wait for a couple of minutes until the download finishes. And it may be dependent of the new network connection. Okay, yes, I have successfully downloaded my XMPP. Double click it. So it's asking uh, to turn off your antivirus program. You can go with yes. Okay, this is a simple warning. Just click on OK. Go ahead with next. Over here, you can choose the various packages that you want to install. Like PHP Perl, PHP Admin, Webalizer. Text and mail, Tomcat, Mercury Mail Server, FileZilla, MySQL, anything. So go ahead with whatever you want. So by default, I choose all of those. I don't know which things may come handy whenever. So I'll go with all those options. Then select your folder where you want to install XMPP. I'll select by default C folder, my open system. Click on next. Next. So it's going to take a bit of time, so be with me. Okay, now it's going to finish the installation. Okay guys, the installation is finished. Click on this. Do you want to start the control panel? Yes. Click on finish. So here comes the XMPP control panel. And over here you can, you can start your application, whatever you want, like clicking on the start buttons. And obviously you can stop any service if you want by clicking the stop button. And if uh, like you want to in, uh, run your application uh, when in Windows starts, then you can just check out those checkboxes. So to the drive, you need to run your XMPP control panel in administrator mode. So let's browse into the folder, right click on it and select run as administrator. So you'll see like all the checkboxes are crossed red that means those are not installed as default services or those will not run when Windows starts up. So to do that, 
we just need to click on those droid boxes and now as i have selected apache and mysql those services will run by default when my system boots up so it will show you green tick mark over there and for time being we just need to click on start for both the services to run those this actually comes handy whenever you like uh, suppose you want to start both the services or any services when your system starts and you don't need to again go into the control panel and start the services time uh, time out of time right so now let's start both the services so click on start and you can see the different ports and uh, it's showing service are running right so now you can exit the control panel so now that our server is running along with mysql database so let's check it out so open up your browser and you can simply navigate by using localhost or if you are interested to use your ip instead like if you are accessing from a different computer uh, not on the system where you have installed the xmpp you can just type in the ip of that particular system where you have installed uh, this will uh, pop up the web page which will show you the different XMPP configuration and the installed XMPP. Okay, and to, to check out the MySQL server, you can simply type in the IP slash phpMyAdmin. Okay, here comes the phpMyAdmin page. So, by using this, you can create your database, you can update it, you can insert new data, entry tables, and all those things which you can generally do by using SQL commands, or you can use the graphical interface. So, okay, we are uh, like we have finished installation of XMPP. We have checked out our server, MySQL database, everything. So let's create a simple web page into our server, so you can check it out, right? Using PHP. So to do that, go into the installation folder, XMPP folder, and over there you navigate to the htdocs folder actually. So actually this folder hosts all the web files or web pages that we are going to create or host in our server. So let's make a folder over here. Let's say Qt. And over here you can just create any like web page. So in just dot php let's say. Now when you navigate to the particular server, so we get a cute folder. Okay. This shows you a blank web page because we don't have anything in the index file, right? So go over, edit it, and let's say uh, just check right down from simple php script which will echo one sentence nothing else so yeah we did it so let's refresh the web page and you can see over here that got reflected okay so over here in the htdocs folder you can put all your applications or scripts that you want to host in your web server that's all guys with XMPP. Thank you. Hey guys, it's me once again and hope you have enjoyed the video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you have liked it and put your comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the latest updates. Thank you.